How do we rough in and mini split in a new construction home? What is a rough in box? What does it look like when it's installed and why do we install it? Today's video is all about roughing in a mini split in a new construction home. Today I'm going to show you the rough in box, talk about the installation, and then talk about the indoor and the outdoor unit placement. Before we start the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. So why do we install a rough in box? We install it so that we don't have to have the line sets for the mini split on the exterior of the wall with line height cover. It makes it look better, and that's the reason we use the rough-in box. You can see my drain going through the floor. That's three-quarter inch PVC. <laughs> These are my line sets, and they go into the side of the rough-in box. The PVC drain connection is right there on the bottom of the rough-in box. You can see that the rough-in box contains my liquid, my vapor line, my power wire, and my communication cable. And you can see it's mounted in between the studs. There's a couple brackets on each side so you can mount it pretty easily. It was easier for us to bring the line sets in the side of the box and then the drain goes out of the bottom. This is where our wall mount air handler is gonna be right here on this wall. And it's gonna be about 36 inches long, 36 inches in length. It's gonna be about 12 inches tall and about 10 or 11 inches in depth. Let me show you a view here. There you go. Now let me show you the outdoor and then we'll talk about more of the installation. This right here is where the line sets would actually come out of the exterior wall. But since we have the rough in box, we don't have to run them outside. So we don't have to look at them. They're concealed and that's why the rough in box is so wonderful. Now this is where our line sets come through the floor and our drain and they run through this joist, this truss down here through these joists this is two by sixes and then they go out here and i'll show you where the outdoor unit is going to be right here underneath these stairs there's the 60 amp non-fuse disconnect we'll have a pad here and this is where our outdoor unit will be so these are line sets that we're going to use to connect the outdoor unit and this is where our three quarter inch pvc drain terminates this is actually the only unit that's going to be in this whole entire house. It's actually going to heat and cool the whole entire house. And there's actually a room here. There's a room over there. There's a bathroom in between the rooms and some closets. And then this is going to be our main unit. Three ton max series Samsung wall mount. Capable of doing 3000 square foot foam. And this is only 1800 square foot. We got vaulted ceilings though. This is going to be really nice. At another house where we have roughed in our line sets and now there's sheetrock covering the walls and now we're installing the wall mount air handler over the rough in box. Let me show you. So there's the rough in box and you can see that the vapor line, the liquid line is protruding from the box and we've got our line sets from our wall mount air handler and they're about to tie those in and then we've got the power wire and the communication wire there and this is a really good way to keep your line sets inside the wall and so that they're concealed and i'll show you the outside here too so if we didn't have the rough in box you would see the line sets come out the wall above that window and that just would not look good so glad to be able to conceal the line sets in the wall there's the drain and then the line sets go underneath this deck here and we're gonna put our outdoor unit right there. So it'll have enough room and of course it's side discharge so we don't have to worry about having uh, uh, no way for our air to be discharged out. So if it was a regular unit, you could not put it underneath this deck cause you wouldn't have four foot above the unit for the discharge. So. This is gonna be good place. They won't have to see it. And the only thing is, is if we ever have to work on it, it's kind of gonna be a little bit of a pain to get underneath here, but it's best for the homeowner. We want it to look good for the homeowner and by look good, not have to see it at all. So out of sight. So that's good. I've got a sizing guide that I can send you for sizing mini splits. If you need that, click the join button, become a member, say I joined and say I need that guide and I'll send that guide to you. 
I've got some other videos on the rough in box after it's installed. If you want to check those out, go down in the link in the description because those video links are there. Click on those. If you want more videos like this, check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. If you're a homeowner, check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Homeowners. Before you leave, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell. Ding! so you know what I'm doing in the future. Leave me a comment if you got a question. If you don't, that's okay. Let me know who you are and where you're from. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.